Hi, in this video, let's create this knockout text with a video background. First, let's add the markup. So I'll be adding a div with the class of video bg. And within this div, I'll be adding the video tag. I'll be using a video that I've downloaded from pexels.com. I've added the link to the video in the description box below. The name of the video is underwater-video.mp4. And now we need to add a few attributes. So the first attribute that I'm going to add is autoplay. Next, we don't want the audio. So we'll be adding the muted attribute. And finally, we want the video to loop. Now when we refresh the browser, you can see that the video is playing. Just below the video tag, we'll be adding a div with the class of text. Within this div, we'll be adding a paragraph tag. And this paragraph tag is going to contain the text of your choice. In my case, I'll be adding the word knockout. And that's it for the HTML. Now let's go to our CSS file. First, I'll be adding a basic reset. So I'll say margin zero, padding zero, box sizing, border box. Now, let's give a few styles to the body. First, we'll set its height to 100%. We'll set its width to 100%. And we'll set the overflow to hidden. Now let's select the class of text. We'll set its position to absolute. And we'll position the text at a distance of 0 from the top. Next, let's increase the size of the text. So I'll say font size 12. And the unit I'm going to use is viewport width because I want the text to be responsive. Next, we'll change the color of the text to white and we'll give it a black background. Now, let's give it a width of 100%. And a height of 100%. We'll center the text vertically and horizontally. So I'll be adding a few flexbox properties. I'll say display flex, justify content, center, align items to the center. Now we'll choose the font family of Helvetica. We'll set the text transform to uppercase. And we'll set the font weight to 900. Lastly, let's give it some letter spacing. So I'll set the letter spacing to 0 0.10 em. I'll just make some space at the bottom. Next, in order to get the final effect, all we need is one property. The name of the property is mix blend mode. So let's add it. I'll say mix dash blend dash mode. And the value is going to be multiply. And you can see it on your screen that we have the final knockout text effect with a video background however in this case if you remember we've used the black background which is right here what if we use another color so let's have a look so if i use red you get a duotone effect similarly if i use some other color you get the same effect which is duotone however if you use white you won't see the text so that's the reason i'm using black so that you only see the text with a video in the background and that was quite simple 
an easy way to create knockout text with a video background. So hope you like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have a nice day.